everybody. I hope you all are having a great day today. I hope you're finding some fun things to do. I hope you are all able to get on your computers and do your classwork and your assignments. And I hope you have found some time to do the exercise videos. I'm posting one every day. I hope you're enjoying and I hope you're following along with them. I'm here today with my son, Mr. Rob. Hey, Mr. Rob. Hello. He'll be doing the videotaping for us. The exercise program I have for today, all you're going to need are a couple water bottles, just for a little bit of extra resistance. So we're going to get started. The first exercise we're going to start with is the squats. So we're going to put our feet comfortably on the floor, about shoulder width apart, toes slightly out. We're going to hold the water bottles. And these water bottles are not heavy. They're about, to, well, this one is 16.9 fluid ounces. So that is about 17 ounces. You can get bigger ones or smaller ones. If you want to get the smaller, little hint, just drink a little bit, then it'll be smaller. But until then, we're just going to hold the weight or the bottles or the cans, whatever you may have found at shoulder height. And we're going to bend down and come up. And down and up and down and up. I don't like to count. Some people love to count. I'm not going to count today. We're going to do as many as comfortable. We're just going to go down. And up, if you only go part way down, that's fine. If you can go further down, that's great. Whatever is best for you. Let's do a couple more. And with that, let's put the bottles down. We're gonna have our hands resting on the invisible table. And take a big breath in. And out. And a big breath in. And out. Breathing is very important. Have to keep the lungs very strong. Okay, we're gonna do one more exercise for the legs. We're gonna stand up. We're gonna hold the bottles straight down on our side. We're gonna come up on our toes. Hold it and come down. Feet. We're just comfy on the floor. And we come up. And we come down. Up and down. And up and down. Down a couple more. Just up and down and up and down. Do that. We'll put the weights down. Hands on the table. And we'll breathe in. And we'll breathe out. We'll breathe in. And we'll breathe out. Let's keep the weights right here on the floor. Let's stand in front of it with our feet wide apart. Toes pointing forward. We're going to bend at the hips. Not at the back, but at the hip. We we'll lean forward. We grab the bottles. And we stand up. We put them down. And we stand up. So bending at the hip, we come down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Bring the feet closer together. Keep going. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up a couple more. And down. And the time is just leave them down. And we'll stand up. Hands on the invisible table. We breathe in. We breathe out. We breathe in. We'll breathe out. We're going to stand up. We're going to move up to the shoulders now. We're going to hold one bottle, one weight in each hand. We're going to do flies up to the side. Slow and in control. We're not going like that. We're going like this. Slow 
This is how you use the muscles when you go slow. Not using momentum, but using the muscles, which is what we're trying to do. Let's do some to the front. Once again, nice and slow. Now we're gonna get really fancy. <laughs> we've done to the front, we've done to the side. We're gonna lean forward and come up to the back. This works the muscles at a different angle. Everything we do, we're gonna to try to exercise at different angles. Okay, with that, we'll put them down. Hands on the table, and breathe in, and breathe out. And breathe in, and breathe out. This time we're just going to grab one. You only need one for this exercise. Put the other hand on your knee, put this by your shoulder, straight over your head, bend the elbow, bring it behind you. And come up. Make sure if you've opened it, the top is on tight, or else you're going to get all wet and we're all going to be in big trouble. So hold on tight, go slowly behind your head. And this works the triceps, the muscles in the back of the arms. And then we'll switch, bring it down, put the other hand. This hand goes on the opposite knee. Bottle comes up to your shoulder, straight up, and again, behind your head. Don't hit yourself in the head, go behind your head, nice and slow. Make sure the top is stayed on tight so we don't get all wet. We will all be in big trouble, right, Mr. Rob? Yes. And just a few more for the triceps, the big muscle in the back of your arm. And Set that down. Hands on the table. We'll breathe in. And breathe out. And then breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, now we're going to stand up. This time we're going to need two. We've done the muscles, the triceps, the back of the arm. We're going to do now the muscles in the front of the arm. So we're going to hold the weights, the, the bottles, the cans, the water, whatever you have, facing forward, and just curl it up towards your shoulders. Don't forget to smile, right Rob? Yes. It's important to enjoy what you're doing. And we can do it with two hands. We can do one hand at a time, that's called alternating curls. We can change the angle, and this time bring the thumbs, the thumbs up first. This is called a hammer curl. It works the same muscle, the bicep muscle, the muscle in the front of the arm, but in a different angle. We're working all the angles today. And then we can bring it with the back of the hands forward, and we come up and down. Up and down, and we can do it one at a time. One or two. And with that, we can set them down. We'll put the hands on the invisible table. We'll breathe in. We'll breathe out. We'll breathe in. And we'll breathe out. We'll do one more from the shoulders. Okay, we're going to stay with our feet fairly close together. Hands just resting at your side, the weight in each hand. We bring the shoulders straight up and slowly down. Up and down and up. Hold at the top, down, hold at the top and down. Couple more. Hold that top and down and hold that top and down. And put these down. Hands on the invisible table. Big breath in. 
Take a big breath out. Big breath in. And a big breath down. Let's do a little bit for the waist. We're going to do now my favorite exercise. Do you know what it is, Rob? The twist. It is the twist. The twist is my favorite. We just twist. We can twist slow. And we can start to add a little punching from side to side. Works a little bit more of the waist area. As we do some, we don't punch our friends, we don't punch our family, we don't punch the pets, we don't punch the furniture, we just punch the air. Just for exercise. Right, guys? Right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Let's have a seat. Hands resting on the table. Big breath in. And a big breath out. Big breath in. And out. Okay, hands on the knees. We're just going to make little circles with our neck. In the other direction. I know we're spending a lot of time on the computer and on our games. It's important to keep our neck strong and flexible. We're going to look from side to side. And we're going to look up and down and up and down. We're going to wiggle the fingers, wiggle the thumbs. We're going to take the thumb and touch the first finger. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna make fist, and we're gonna go boom and let it out. Then make a fist, and we'll say boom. <laughs> With that, guys, I hope you all enjoyed your workout. I'm gonna see you all very, very soon. Thank you to Mr. Rob for videotaping us. Thank you. You're welcome. Hands come to our <laughs> chest, and we'll say is one. Namaste.